Well, people who want to hit Virginia's waterways may have to pay a little bit more to do it this coming year. The State Department of Wildlife Resources is charging new fees for using state access ramps. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer shows us why it's concerning for one area of business that makes its livelihood on the water. For John Mays and his outfitter, the James River and its winding banks through Botetourt County are the money maker, not just for him, but for all of Buchanan, too. They're just this is kind of up into the apple cart, and we're just trying to adjust um, for it, make it positive so that we can still meet their needs, but can still be able to survive as a small business. It's why new access fees to use state owned or maintained boat ramps are concerning for him and others. A Department of Wildlife Resources spokeswoman says they don't get state funding and they could use the money. We don't get money off the top of the pot as many other agencies get. Our funding comes from hunting and fishing dollars and license fees. Um, so this is a way for us to uh, help with sustained funding going forward. Mays wants to pay his fair share, but says the logistics of purchasing passes one customer at a time isn't scalable. Averaging 200 people a day, he says he'd have to hire people just to handle those logistics, and the state agrees. So we are currently trying to figure out a structure for a group waiver for those for those people, for the outfitters, for deliveries, and everyone like that, so they won't have to do individual ones for multiple people. Those with a hunting or fishing license, a Virginia boat registration, or another state pass are exempt as they already pay in. That leaves visitors and non-motorized boat users to pay the bread and butter of May's business. The administrative requirements without having a way to, to, to buy bulk tickets is just uh, I just don't see how we're going to be able to operationalize that currently the way it's set up. So we're definitely hopeful that they'll make a change. In Buchanan, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you. So as it stands right now, only the operator would have to pay, meaning one fee for a tandem kayak, which is obviously one that holds two people, and then meeting any of the other requirements, like owning a registered boat, would pass as well.